Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Bibi and today we're going to be covering washing your skin. Yes, cleansing. We need to make sure the skin is clean. But sometimes even that can be a little bit intimidating because there's so much on the market and is it going to work for me and what am I supposed to do with it and will it damage my skin or will it make it my skin worse? And that's what we're going to go through today. Cleansers. Now, if you haven't seen my previous video, I go through the five steps to get glowing skin. Please make sure to check that out as well so that you can get your bases down for getting your skin glowing. But let's jump into cleansers. Like I said, it can be intimidating. Yes, I know it's just something simple as washing your face. At the end of the day, you're so confused and you have no clue what you want to use. Well, the answer is pretty simple to that. Use what you like. You just need to clean your skin with a facial cleanser. Please don't use a bar of soap or in the shower when you're lazy, just use your body wash to wash your skin. Please don't. As long as it's a facial cleanser or a facial wash, you are good to go. And it doesn't matter which one you use, as long as you use it and as long as you like it. How it feels on your skin. Now in general we get four basic types of cleansers. You get your milk cleansers, your cream cleansers, your gel cleansers and then of course your micellar waters and they all serve different purposes. Your milk cleanser as you can see is more of a creamy texture. It's a bit softer on the skin. It's not going to make the soap. So if you like the feeling and the look of soap on your skin, this one will definitely not be for you, but it's still going to get the job done. It doesn't give you that tight feeling when you get, when you wash your skin. You know, sometimes when you wash your skin and you feel like if you smile, you're going to crack. A milk cleanser won't do that. And a cream cleanser also falls into the same category. It's not going to foam up, it's not going to make your skin feel as tight. And generally, milk cleansers are more for your drier skins, your more mature skins. Cream cleansers are the same. They generally are more suited for your mature or drier skin types. That being said though, if you like a cream cleanser and you like the way that it feels on your skin, use it as long as you clean your skin because that is the most important. The next one we're going to do is the gel cleansers. Now, as you can see, this one is gel, it's clear. And then when you put water into it and you start rubbing it against your face or between your hands, it will, of course, start foaming up. This one does, however, strip the skin a little bit more. So yes, you will probably get that tight feeling after you've done washing your skin, but that's then when you're obviously gonna go in to do your toner and that will then be restored. Now, gel cleansers generally are a bit more suited for your oily or acne prone skins. But once again, if you're a person that likes a gel cleanser, I love a gel cleanser. I do want to see a little bit of that foam going on so it feels like I'm washing and can see that I'm washing my skin, then go for it. However, if I do see a client that has a little bit more of an acne prone skin, I would generally go for something like a gel cleanser just to make sure we get all that additional oil and sebum that's on the skin off before I continue with my treatments. Then, of course, you also get your foam cleansers. As you can see, it's a foam. It comes out as a foam. It foams up like crazy once you put it onto the skin. And this stuff really, really cleanses your skin. There is nothing left on your skin when you're done with these cleansers. They really, really cleanse your skin. They also burn the living daylights out of your eyes when you get it into your eyes, so careful with that one. Generally more suited towards your oily skin. But me, I don't have oily skin. I've got a combination skin with your T-zone and enlarged pores. 
on the cheek and nose area and I still enjoy using a foam cleanser. And it's just nice to see when you squeeze the pump, there's actually foam that comes out. It's intriguing. But these ones also, doesn't matter. If you like a foam cleanser, whatever your skin type is, use the foam cleanser. And then you get your micellar waters. These ones. Now, I probably am pronouncing that wrong. Yeah, I am. But it's okay. I think you know what I'm talking about. Now, I absolutely love my micellar water. It's my go-to on a daily basis. But it's not my go-to as a full-on facial cleanser. Micellar waters to me is something that you can use when you don't have any makeup on your skin or you just want to quickly refresh your skin. So in the evening, if I had makeup on, I would still go ahead and cleanse my skin with my gel cleanser first and then take my micellar water to clean it off afterwards just to make sure that I get my double clean in. Or if I go to exercise, I will always take it with. Then when I'm done, the first thing that I do is quickly take my micellar water on a cotton bud, just clean my skin off to make sure that all the sweat is off of my skin because unfortunately I do react to my own sweat. Wonderful, but that's okay. <laughs> um, and also it helps to just prevent breakouts and clogging the pores, so I'll just quickly use it for that. Or in the mornings, what I want like to do is I'll get up and I'll just use it as my cleanser for the day, especially if you're someone that doesn't like cleansing your skin in the morning or you feel it's not necessary, which it is, you have to cleanse your skin in the morning, I would then go for my micellar water and just wipe it all over my skin just to make sure that the residue of the creams and the things that I had on the previous evening has been removed. And then of course we have our trusty facial wipes and yes this is not a facial wipe this is a tissue because this is the closest thing that I have to a facial wipe and I don't like them I understand that they're convenient and yes they take your makeup off however most facial wipes not all of them there are really some good ones out there that don't do this but most facial wipes has so much alcohol in them and ingredients that's stripping and damaging to your skin that on the long run they actually dry out your skin can create sensitivity and cause your skin to react badly to just clinging your skin now myself yes I do use them especially when I travel but I wouldn't recommend this to be <clears throat> the one and only cleanser that you use or facial wash that you use just because they can be harsh to the skin but then now you go into this new cleansing gel ball or the magic makeup cloth or a cleansing balm that we get and these are also great they're the same thing if they're cleaning your skin it works and if you like using them then use them there are no rules. There's nothing that says you're not allowed to use a gel cleanser or you're not allowed to use a mole cleanser when you have acne skin. There's no such thing. Do what you want. Clean your skin and make sure you prepare your skin for your moisturizers or your treatments or whatever you want to do after your skin. You have to remember a cleanser is there to clean your skin. It's not there to treat your skin. So it's not necessarily going to improve any of the conditions that you have on your skin. It's mostly there for cleaning and that's what it's meant to do. So there's no rule that says you have to or you must or you can't as long as you clean your skin just to get the debris off of your face. And that is a lot and that is also enough. So that is what I have for you for this video. If you liked what you see, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so that you can be notified when I load more videos. Tell your friends 
and remember wash those skin morning and evening to make sure your skin is glowing thank you very much for tuning in my name is Bibi once again and i'll see you soon goodbye